Well, I, I love being in the College of Earth and Mineral Sciences um, because uh, I have common intellectual interests with everybody in this college at, at some level. Uh, you know, we have folks uh, obviously who are doing, you know, atmospheric science here in the Department of Meteorology and Atmospheric Science. Um, but we've got folks uh, working on hurricanes and, um, and, 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 and mid-latitude storm systems, and I'm very interested in how climate change interacts with those things. Uh, we've got uh, researchers in the Department of Geosciences who are leading researchers in the world when it comes to understanding the behavior of the ice sheets um, and how that's contributing to sea level rise. And I've been working with colleagues like Richard Alley and Dave Pollard um, in uh, using sort of the research that they've been doing to inform questions about sort of the coastal risk we face in the future uh, from a combination of global sea level rise and changing storm systems. Um, I have folks and you know, colleagues in geography who are looking at all sorts of um, aspects of climate change impacts because I'm interested in the basic physical science of climate and climate change, but I'm also very interested in the impacts of climate change when it comes to, to human beings and uh, human civilization and in individual um, you know, uh, countries, uh, understanding how uh, you know, people are coping with um, the growing threat of climate change, um, uh, sea level rise that is inundating their islands or their coastlines. Um, so we have leading researchers in uh, geography. And then in, there's the whole sort of energy and, 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 and sort of mineral engineering side of the college. And you know what we're talking about ultimately, the problem we're trying to solve as a civilization is living sustainably um, on this planet in a way where we can continue to meet our basic needs.